Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 with Birth of Nations with myself, Master Boost, and Zatel Ye. Hello. After giving France a right old thrashing, I'm thinking about going after the British one more time just because they still own two provinces in what is supposed to be Dutch Ireland. And Ireland. I mean, I really think... Well, yeah, Ireland. Oof. That's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a really, really bad one. <laughs> But yeah, let's uh, continue on. And I'm just beating out Bohemia and Polotsk here. The only problem I have with this particular mission is going to be the fact that I have to probably siege down their capital. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how many armies they have. Can't be that many though. Oh, price of spices just dropped. Damn it. Oh. Uh, oh god, they have a force limit of 39. Oh, 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 you are gonna be so wrecked. There we go, I can finish that mission for home region. Yeah, I just finished my uh, low countries mission, thanks to the fact that I now own all of these provinces. Do I want to make that a state? Not particularly. No. Oh, Delaware, right. Right, so let's have a look at... Okay, so Ottomans have about 800 uh, more than I do right now, but they haven't made a piece yet. Hmm. Independence guaranteed by Bengal. Allied with Malacca and Pasai still. And Bahmanis is allied with Sulu. You know, I'm gonna leave that whole Indian mess where they are. <laughs> I'm good here. Fair enough. I do need to send back an army, though, but, uh... Let's see, where is my Bengal army? Staatsleger, Perth, Shrewsbury. I think I'll just send you guys over. Oh, apparently I will be able to annex all of Polotsk. Oh, very nice. I mean, I do need to do some seizing down still, but... Eh. Shouldn't take too long. Nah. Okay, you guys, get on the boats. Sail around the world. Which means that uh, Bohemia will only have two neighbors after that. <laughs> you and the Ottomans. Yep. Uh, I don't envy them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is my... Yeah, my discipline is now 118%, and it said it was at 125, so it's weird. Oh well. Okay, they don't accept the peace deal quite yet, but that should be soon. Did I steal a two dagger from them? Possibly. I did. So let's upgrade that one. Um, I probably have to upgrade a couple more trade fleets, by the way. Okay, now I got the 100 war score. And there goes another nation. Yeah, I do. I have to say, it was a good idea to take their administrative ideas for their mm. core and cost. Yeah, I bet it was. Right, protect trade. Uh... Oh, damn, I'm starting to lose uh, a lot of... Which one is this? Oh, look us. This army is 
fine. You go back to drilling. Okay, so Scandinavia has 45,000 men. I do need to wait for the course to be finished. Because my overextension is uh, pretty big again. 107. Oh. I'm currently at 95, but I'm almost done with coring quite a few of those provinces, so... I won't have a, lo a lot of problems for a while after this. Fair enough. Hold on, do I... we do have all the institutions already. Yeah, we do. Okay, well then... You know, I just, just, just get Cornwall to the clergy because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> really like, no, no, you did, don't. Uh, let's see. I cannot build any more furnaces. Oh, yeah, okay. I can now. Doing some fortification in force right about now. Oh, there's another rebellion here. Picardy is not a core. Oh, do I need... Oh, yeah. Upgrade the fort, please. <laughs> that was definitely needed. Oh, I still need to uh, core a few profits before I can actually make them. Again, I'm maxed out on Diplo power. Holy shit. Twenty two sixteen. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Skip one military point then. <sighs> what can you build here? Right, so let's have a look at the trade map mode. Yeah, I'm directing a lot of trade towards uh Lubeck. I mean yes, I should be. Yeah. I don't think I have a lot of trade going from Lubeck to you. Actually, I am sending quite a bit. Yeah, really. you are. There's not much you can do about that. Mm. I could recall my uh, merchant, but... No, it wouldn't do too much, to be honest. No, the money would still go that way anyway. Because yeah. England and France is also doing it. Military access from Bengal? Nah. No, you can't either. Do I own the North Sea as well? For the most part. How many ships do I have on that? Zero. Oh. Well. There's a problem. Scrap that. Create a template. Yeah. So yeah, I got a ton of buildings right now being built, a ton of cores and some ships. And a lot of rebellion factions going on. I got a fair few. French separatists, reformed zealots, animist zealots, separatists, separatists, separatists. Yeah. I mean, they're welcome to try. Right, so... Oh, God. Ottomans did take quite a bit from Bohemia. Mmm. Holy shit. But I am actually... First in the Great Powers list right now. Oh, my God. Because Ottomans oh. haven't embraced uh, Enlightenment. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, total death they still win, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, against who is that? Mobility... Manpower modifier. Uh, no, it's unfortunate. I'll just deal with that.
52k on, this, on the border with me now. I think I will be needing my uh, armies uh, at home. Probably. For the, for the most part. Oh, some rebellions in Polotsk. But nothing that I can't take care of. I mean, my army force limit is uh, 465. Just gonna spam these. Atheum will no longer serve us. That's a shame, because he was a good general. And I do mean one of the best. Here. So let's roll a new one. Well, <laughs> that's not bad. Six fire, four shock, zero, zero. Okay, well, it's and fighting. It's a three-star general, that. Yeah. And there uh, come the French separatists. Hello. Don't think I invited you. Yeah, I got Polish separatists myself. And apparently I'm about to get Lithuanian separatists. General Estates. Mm -hmm. France loses 10 prestige. Well, fair enough. I, th I think they lost quite a bit of prestige when I pummeled them, but hey. Yeah, probably. Does that mean Florida wants to be independent again? No, 25% only. British Columbia. Select you. British Columbia is at forty percent. Uh, Nuka Steel wants to have a liberty, though. Apparently, although they're only at thirty-one percent. Fair enough. Right, Picardy. I want you to become a state. Oh, hello. That is some income. And again, I'm high on Diplo. Well... Oh, right. I forgot that the overextension law is your trade power abroad. Okay, what can we build here? A farm estate, sure. Oh wait, am I? Yeah, I'm actually at my state limit. I'm at zero percent overextension. Uh, I s I can still do five more states, but I think I'm gonna keep that for France. Probably those good are idea. Some good, th those are some good states. So, you guys move there. So let's see, I need to start pummeling Great Britain again, that means, oh you can do that. Fifteen, seventeen. Oh, this is a half army, if I do 16, 18. Uh, where is the North Sea? There we go. That's better. Right, but uh, if we don't calculate the fact that Ottomans haven't got the Enlightenment yet, 
There's still mm -hmm. about 800 uh, dev difference between me and them. Ooh. So the Brits have some pretender rebels, apparently. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna make a claim here. I'm gonna make a claim here. So let's see. Can I threaten war? As soon as I have a diplomat again. Let's see, France. I, I'm gonna remove this one. France, let's see. I want to claim on Rhymes, I said before. There we go. Now I can recall you for a bit. So, Great Britain. Let's see. Threaten war. There we go. For Connaught. Oh, they would give it to me. Okay. That was easy. Yep. Core it. Can I do that again? Oh, that gave me a truce for five years. Sure. Scandinavia, who are you allied with? Spain. Spain. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, I'll probably be declaring war on them in the near future. Once I Why get... Are you called... Once I get rid of the overextension, that is. North Sea. Okay, let's see. The North Sea trade note is now... 83%. Good. I don't know if I'm ever going to stop converting provinces before the end of this series. Yeah, I got quite a few provinces to convert myself. I mean, I'm the defender of the faith and I just still have so many provinces I need to convert. And of course, I went for the full uh, military setup in the Protestantism. Ah, yeah. So I don't have the bonuses of that anymore. True, but you Ooh. can change them. I know, I know. But I don't really feel like it. A 643 or a 535. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to go for the 643. Unfortunately, he's in the... Naive enthusiast. Right, my income currently is 226 a month. I'm making 447 in trade and 172 in production. Fair enough. Taxation, not so much. Okay, that should be most of the overextension. Still got 27%. So I'm going to wait for that to go down. And then I'll probably start... Well, actually, I'm expanding my navy, so I'm going to wait that. Ah, it's going to take years. But yeah, I'll probably declare war on Scandinavia soon enough. There. See, what do I want here? I'm not exactly short on sailors. So I guess I'll build another shipyard. You're fine, you're fine. You could improve that, but... Oh, let's build a temple here. And here. Oh, wait, no. Let's do this one. There we go, of extension 0%. Nice. Just gonna wait for the first ships, so uh, wait. Oh, well, the Ottomans got the Enlightenment now. Okay, so they just jump back to uh, spot number one, I take well, it. Well, they will once the month changes. Ah, yeah. So, how long my. Uh, 
1747. Okay. So, do you want to join in to beat down the Spanish? I mean, sure. Let me just get some fleets ready. And, oh, I do have my transport fleet on the other side of the world, so I need to move them. Okay. Well, we can probably wait that. Gives me time to create more fleet. A revolution is taking place in revolutionary France. Do I know? Oh my. Oh god. Well then. Great Republic of Revolutionary France. Luddites. Oh, Devastation. Or... Protected Artisans. Wow, that's a lot of Devastation. But I can at least kick down the peasants. I do want those new production systems, so okay. Okay. Peasants revolt. Oh, you were not invited. I may want to up that army size a bit. Why is your morale so low? Oh, you were still training. Rommel just died on me. Oh. Uh, estates demand control. Oh, all the estates demand control. Right. Burgers. Still not enough. Okay, let's give you Banka then as well. Not enough. Benkulu? That's enough. And Palembang can go to the clergy. They're happy. And Pakuan can go to the nobility. And they're happy. Good. See, I got more arty, but I don't have enough horses. Well, hmm. The leader is a 333, 2-4. Okay. Uh... Come on, kick that morale up. Right, so I still have 210 aggressive expansion on Bohemia. But barely anyone else cares. <laughs> Nobody else does. Okay, morale is full, let's go. Yeah, that was good enough. I think they had about half the morale I had. Well, not quite half, but not enough. Yeah. Five versus my seven. Yeah, I believe my morale is uh, currently 9.19. Ooh, public punishment. Higher Bahmani officers. I can't afford that right now. So... I can now agitate for liberty, so maybe I should do that in Florida. Maybe. Oh, I can't do that there. I need to do that in the nation. Uh, oh, that needs 90 spy. 90 points of spy network. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit expensive. Oh boy. Oh, Finland is huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Norway is in in Canada. Yep. Wow. Oh, wow. Scandinavia has 37,000 men in Iceland. Just standing there? Ah, uh, they're drilling there. Mm. <laughs> oh, you, um... 
infiltrated their uh, administration? No, I was uh, watching through your ships. Ah, yeah, that helps. Right. God, Florida is scary. Just a little bit. Just a tad. Oh, it's a shame I can't get these pretender rebels out of Great Britain. I do have to play, so that's good. Alright, so I've been expanding my navy quite a bit here, so I should be able to possibly... Take the fight to the Scandinavian Navy. Oh, hello. That's one hell of a leader again. So, Rommel is now at 3641. Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's more or less my sentiment. Okay, 90 I need for the Agitate for Liberty, so, okay. That's gonna take a while. So I should... Okay. Try. Go ahead. I just had some uh, reformed zealots spawn in Ulster, but immediately run away from Ulster because that was a fort they couldn't see down. Uh, okay. And I just met them on the battlefield. They're, they're gone. There's, there's nothing left of them. Fair enough. But yeah, I should be having more heavy ships than Scandinavia has in the Baltic. Of course, I could check that from the ledger. Yep, I do have more heavy ships. Uh, I have twice as much infantry as Spain. Almost four times as much cavalry and three times as much artillery. My force limit is also slightly higher than theirs. Yeah, I actually got more armies than Ming. Lost <laughs> <laughs> general, but I'm gonna. Oh, get revolution in France! All. All, all of a sudden has a lot of force limit. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, they don't have a lot of troops and they don't have a lot of manpower, but their force limit is pretty high. 476. Huh? Could I choose to be a revolutionary? I don't think so. I don't think you can choose that, although I have no experience of that, to be honest. Nor do I, I usually just uh, stunt them. However, it is that time again, so thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Also check out our uh, Patreon pages and the other players' perspective, all the links are down below. And we'll be back tomorrow with more Europa Universalis 4. Bye bye! Bye!